Switching now to that forecast, it was really a perfect day to visit Lake Michigan. Beautiful out there, Ellen Baca in the tracking center. And Ellen, the heat up is on the way. It is. So we're going to be seeing the heat build in, and we're also going to be seeing the chances for some mirages across Lake Michigan. So let me show you why. First, we'll talk about just how hot it's going to be for this extended stretch here. And you'll notice that heat indices are day after day up near 90 degrees. We're going to see very quiet weather, and we're also going to be seeing a lot of sunshine. So mirages on Lake Michigan usually unfold on weeks like this. They're most common on days when the wind is light, on hot days when Lake Michigan is still cold, and it's most likely to appear as an image floating above the horizon, which you can see on the right hand side of your screen there. So here's why it happens. As the sun heats the ground, it'll throw down the incoming solar radiation and the land heats up way faster than the water. So you get this temperature difference and you get air masses stacking up differently over the land and over the water. Well, for the cold air that's over the water, it has a higher index of refraction. So that means light travels faster through the hot air. Anyway, all this science occurs and it flips an image for you, often looking like this. So if you head to Lake Michigan this weekend or even this week, be on the lookout for some of these mirages that look flipped and above the horizon.